so I was sitting here working and I hear trucks. There's an F and F truck. And I look. And all of a sudden there's two guys looking at our old well. So, um, if you look through the, all the pollen on the screen, there's the big truck again. There's the ruts from yesterday. I'm going to get out of here, so if they come back over to our old well, I can leave. Carly. 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 That's my chair. That's my chair, Carly. You better get down, Carly. Carly, get down. Carly, get down. Carly, get down. Carly, get down. Thank you. Then we have this guy here. Sleepy. 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 Yeah, that guy there. We got this guy here who wouldn't hear me anyway. here. My pillows are all messed up because when I got here, I'm not dressed yet. I like it dressed. I'm just working. And Pete was taking a nap, so I just threw everything down and woke up Pete in case he came to the door or something. Just a little of uh, don't know what they're doing. I got parts, wires, cables, there's all our, that's right where we feed the neighborhood birds. However, since the cats in the neighborhood have started preying on the birds, we can't really feed them. So we're not quite sure what's going on here. Yeah, and we can't turn them into animal control. What we were going to do is get some cat traps and catch them and take them to animal control. However, animal control doesn't, apparently they don't have room or something because they are not accepting stray cats at this time. They come in our yard. Um, they come on our porch. They pee outside. You can smell it. Um, yeah, they're pretty disgusting and we can't do anything about it. I, unless you know something. I don't really want to hurt the cats. Uh oh, he's getting out a blowtorch. Oh no. Hope he knows this house is flammable. Anyway. Get in that new house pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> quick, get the birds out. Yeah, so we don't know what we're going to do with the cats. One was in our backyard this morning. And, you know, Sleepy and the dogs always spend time out there. I don't. I just don't know what to do. Oh, I'm sure it's bringing fleas and whatever else. There's one cat that's a stray that's very shy and is beautiful, and if I didn't already have a cat, I'd work on taming that puppy, kitty, <laughs> and making it into a pet, because it's a beautiful cat. It's uh, kind of, I don't know my cat breeds, but it's, uh, you know, I don't know, I'll have to try and get a picture of it, because usually... If I'm playing the piano in the evening, it seems to sit around outside, outside the window and listen or something. So I'll try and get a picture of it, but it's a beautiful cat. Anyway. Hi, Pharaoh. Hi, old man. Yes, we would. We'd have to train the new cat to become another dog. Hi, old Pharaoh. How's my old man, huh? Oh, my old boy. He's just a good boy. He can't hear me, but he knows I love him. Yeah, he's just a good boy. And 
As long as I have the camera in my hand and the phone isn't ringing. Bruce, who lives across the street in that blue house, well, you've seen it out my front window a million times, came over and mowed this lot, which this is focusing on the screen. There we go. Came over and mowed this lot. I wanted to leave it long for privacy and to keep people from, you know, other house coming over here. And also, where those flowers are, that big clump of those irises, we had put a whole bunch of sticks and stuff out there because we have bunnies and we were building places for bunnies to go and have their babies and stuff. So we had built up a couple years ago quite a bit for all the wild animals to use and then we wanted to kind of grow a habitat out here. But uh, Whoever owns this property never comes here, never... Uh, Apparently they want it because it went up for a tax sale a couple of years ago and apparently he paid it off because it never got sold. But whoever owns it isn't somebody who ever does anything with it or comes here. We've never seen them. Just a name on, the, on a ledger at the township office. There's a little trencher. Pete calls it a trencher. I don't know what it is. But it's must be trenching. I don't know. A front end loader with a digger on the back. A front end loader with a digger on the back. Oh, I see there's a guy right out there. What's he doing? He's probably hooking up the electric. Probably trying to figure out where the uh, gas line is. So they don't dig into the gas line. Oh, or that. Sleepy, you can see, is really concerned. As long as he gets fed. Let's see what's going on out here. Oh, there's the guy with the other truck. These two guys. Wow, this is kind of a big deal, isn't it? That guy that's walking up here. He looked in the window and saw me with my camera. And he did a double take. Okay, so this guy is probably going to enlarge our kitchen any minute. <laughs> Be right down there. That was sitting upright. No, it's sitting horizontal. But that was down in the hole. That was the pressure tank. That we were trying to get the hold pressure, and it wasn't holding pressure. Well, because it wasn't getting any water. I don't even know what that looks like. I've never been down in the hole. Pete has plenty of times. The ladder and the the hole down there is all concrete lined, and it's nice and everything. I mean, it's like a mini basement. That's what about four feet by four feet. <laughs> They just asked Pete to come in and flip the switch and turn on the pump. Had the power, so they can make sure everything's okay. Four guys standing around looking for water. I don't see any, but hopefully they. Oh yeah, there they do. They're running it through a hose. Kind of back behind the cupboard so they don't see me sitting here recording them. Oh yeah, she's pouring clear water out there. Maybe you can see the water now. That's coming through their equipment, but out of our well. It's not our pump. Pharaoh and Sleepy. Yeah, they're pretty cute. Curly's wandering around somewhere. Oh, there he is, down by my feet. Oh my. Looks like he's digging a big hole. I think I can figure out what he's doing now. Even I can figure that out. So that's a good thing. Yeah, Pete will film me in later. Well, looks like they're finishing up. Pete's watching them out there. Talking to his buddy Greg. 
I guess the well is 180 feet is what they needed to go. If you'd ask Greg. Oh, he's bringing a bunch of leaves over. It's like he's going to dump them in the hole. Or not. Or maybe. I guess he's dumping some leaves and mud in the hole. It'd be fun having a job where you just play with trucks all day. Okay, guys, Pete said turn on a faucet. He just turned the power back onto the pump. And that is apparently what your water looks like when it hasn't been used for over six weeks. Anybody thirsty? That is gross. I don't want to turn it up too high. You saw it here first, folks. Something is coming out of the tap. Okay, I'm folding laundry here. I got you set up in my utility room. He just went out to talk to him because apparently the cold water will start to come in and then it stops. And so he just went out to talk to him about it. They've got the yard pretty well clean, clear, cleaned up, though, all their mess and stuff. And, uh,. So that's pretty good there. They're cleaning it up real well. Um, they told Pete that if they that we're supposed to that we're supposed to turn the water um, on just until we smell chlorine and then turn it off and then let the chlorine sit and then let the chlorine sit in all the pipes um, and to kind of bleach out any germs that are whatever's been sitting in the pipes for all these weeks. And then wait 24 hours and then go ahead and turn it off again, or turn it back on again. And of course not, you know, eat, eat it or cook with it or anything yet, do dishes. We can still shower, we can still flush, that is if the color of the water turns, you know, not dark red. We'll see what they say about There are my friends. Cheers to be a fake rock out there. Come on. There it goes. Look at through the screen now. Pete's going to check it. What the heck did they put over the well? Big fake hollow rock. That's cool. Huh. That's cool. I don't know. See, they kind of cleaned up the yard. Kind of. It'll be a while before the yard is back to normal. <laughs> but. Hey, we got a new rock. What more can you ask for? They were happy to hear that I wanted this big rock left where it is. It used to be in front of this tree. But that's where we feed the critters outside, and they like to sit on it and stuff. So, yeah, I asked them to keep it there. Or Pete asked them. So that's cool. But that is an interesting fake rock. <laughs> <laughs> Pete says, I hope nobody steals our rock. I'm going to finish up now. We just ate leftover pork, pork roast and cabbage and onions and carrots. And I baked a couple potatoes with it. And uh, anyway, so I'm just going to finish up here. Um, something I was going to tell you. Oh, yeah, we need a plumber. We have the water's not coming in. The well guy came in. Looked at it, blah, blah, blah. We need a plumber. We needed a plumber anyway. Now we just need one worse. So, we'll call somebody tomorrow and get them out here, hopefully this week. This is getting long and involved. 
but the well and the pump are working fine. So, should be something the plumber can fix. So, I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to crash for the night, take care of my birdies, play some keyboards, watch some TV, whatever, and go to bed early again. So, hope everybody had a happy hump day, and I will see you guys tomorrow for Thrilling Thursday. Take care, God bless, and good night.